and welcome. This is Aceless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Glad you're here. Today what I'm going to try to be trying to teach you is something really I think is quite cool. It's how to layer graphics. What I'm going to be doing is that I've made this and I'll put this on my web page. Uh, just it's pretty ugly, but it points out how to do it pretty easily. I've made this little four slot almost like a miniature keyboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 1, 2, 3, and 4 in each one of these 1, 2, 3, and 4 uh, slots inside of the actual image. And what I've done is I've created what's called transparent images I'm using PNG format. And what will happen is I will put those other images, which also are transparent except for the numbers, on top of each other. And then finally we'll put this on top of that and so it will actually say one, two, three, four. So what I've done is I've already loaded them into uh, the drawables. Two things I'd like to point out this time is while you may be able to create things and put them in here with like numbers first, you don't want to do that because that causes problems. And another thing, for instance, if you have this and you camel it, camel cased it and then instead of this, this underscore it had a capital F, a capital G, and a capital P. You don't want to do that either. That will also cause problems. So what I've done is I've got the A1, 2, 3, and 4. Those are the these. And then I've got the frame loaded. Now the first thing we need to do is I'm going to create an XML file here called layers. I'd like to point out that at the very beginning I created in the layout folder. Uh, this is probably just the easiest way to do this. And it's just a, a simple linear layout that I just right clicked new layout. What I'm going to do here is first of all um, don't really need this. Make it a little neater. I'm going to change it from linear layout to layer a list. Layer list. Next, we're going to put the things in which we are going to load them in the order we want them loaded. The last item on the list will be the last thing that loads. So whatever you want on top has to be the last thing to load. So I'm going to start, and you do this with the item. So it's item. And there. So, and inside of here, what all I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, bitmap Android source equals drawable. Uh, and then I'm going to use A1 underscore SQ and then next uh, I want them all to be centered if you notice if you looked at them closely the ones I created you know, they're all created based on uh, where they're going to end up there is a way to budge them in different directions but we'll handle that issue later Android gravity and I spelled Android again wrong gravity equals center and then we'll close this because it is part of the bitmap like that so there's your first item and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste and create one for every item that I'm going to load and there you go I've got all my squares loaded as well as my frame so now what you need to do is because this I'm not going to use this in the layout I'm on, actually I'm going to take this layers right click cut go up here to drawable right click and paste okay now to complete this we're going to go into my example XML which we're actually not going to use and we're going to do a little very small amount of code basically calling on the layers XML to present itself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go enter and we're going to use image view and we want to wrap content 
wrap content. And then we want to change the source. to that folder we just moved to drawables. And then I want to change the uh, gravity, layout gravity to center, vertical. Something I just realized is at drawable layers. Yeah, I need to put that in front of the, my drawables. Just forgot it. Okay, now that we've got that fixed, there's one more thing that we're going to have to add up here in order to get this to work. We're going to have to add tools. And Alt Enter. So we're going to add the schema and the tools. Let's put context equals and then your com whatever it happens to be main activity and that will allow you to run it so you're back in here to design and see what it looks like and it's gonna look pretty good but I really want this to be centered centered so I'm gonna come up here I'm gonna go center and then center their way so I've got all it centered exactly the way I want it, and then I can run it. Then when it runs, you can see it loaded the graphics, one, two, three, and four, and it looks like it's all one graphic. Uh, that's pretty cool. So that's how one of the ways to layer graphics uh, in Android Studio and, and, to, and to add things on top of other things. I thought it was pretty cool and thought I might, might show it to you. This has been Ace with John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. I'm glad you could join me. Don't forget to thumbs up and to subscribe. See you around.